Good evening, my victims. What would more time mean to you? I guess a better question would be, what would you do for it? When one holds the power and the other seeks it, well, it becomes a game. A game of cat and mouse or something more. I hope you enjoy Revelation. I never lie. I never have. And I never will, Maxine go on. I'm infinitely constant. Infinitely persistent. You know this. Nothing in this world is as constant as I. And even the so-called unwavering North Star. All those years you spent gazing at it, its brilliance, filling your heart with false hope. You were staring at nothing but a ghost. For I brought about its end hundreds of millennia before your time. That light you beheld was nothing. Nothing but a futile final plea for more scraps of time echoing through the void. The star's end came as well yours, Maxine. No matter how much you tend to resist me, there's nothing you can do. Tell me, is it not a bit arrogant of you to believe you can be more resilient than a star? Maxine, I did not lie. I did see your father one last time, if I'm not mistaken. I saw his cold corpse at his funeral. Perhaps you should be a bit more specific next time, huh? You? You're a sore loser. And how many times do I have to tell you? Call me Max. I will admit, Max, I have been quite amused by our games. I have not encountered someone as desperate as you are for more scraps of time in, well, <sighs> a long time. Didn't you say once? The time is insignificant. That mortals could never understand the vastness of eternity. So what do you mean when you say a long time? Hmm. Well, I suppose it feels like a long time. Exactly. Time is relative. To you, my fight for more time may seem pathetic. But to me, it means everything. Doesn't everyone that you visit resist you? Not everyone. And certainly not as vigorously as you. I am quite curious, Max. Yeah? Why do you resist me so? What do you think is beyond me? <laughs> I don't know. For sure. What do you think is my sole purpose? I don't know. Is it to destroy? 
<laughs> Are all ends absolute? I don't know. All I know is that I want more time. Just a little more time. If it's as insignificant to you as you say, then what is the big deal to you? To humor you? It's not a big deal, Max. But, hear me out. If I gave everyone, everyone in the world, if I gave them the time that they asked for, I think, uh, I think, yeah, that would be a big deal, don't you? And anyway, what makes you so special, Max? You think you deserve more time? I... No! I don't think I deserve more time. Then why should I give you more? Because I'm gonna beat you in our next game. No. No. No, Max. I like you, you know that. And for that reason, I'm gonna take you down. Mm. I'll make sure it's quick, painless, so you don't suffer. Come with me, come with me now, for your sake. No, what do you mean? Well, how should I put this? It's not only your end that is dying, my dear, but at the end of all. What are you saying? And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, <laughs> and Hell followed behind him. Oh well, where is your horse? <laughs> Woo! <sighs> Very well. What game shall we play? Monopoly. I played that one already. Your hotel and boardwalk spoiled my doom, remember? Uh, yeah, that's right. Go. Played that one. Mancala. Played that one too. Shit. <laughs> Dice. Max, seriously? Do you really want to leave it all to chance at this point? What about? Dominoes. I can't believe you. I really can't. You played that one last month. No. Did you really think I'd forget? Yeah. What about... What about the game? The one that you've refused since I can remember. No. No. <laughs> You might as well give up your soul to me right now if you tend to challenge me in that game. I challenge you. <laughs> Fine. Fine. A few more measly scraps of time is what you're after. I suppose you've earned it. Especially after all the entertainment you've given me all these years. Tell me it's not going to be this easy the entire time. I do hope that this sacrifice was deliberate. <laughs> easy or not, as long as I play, I live. You live as long as your king has his freedom. I am wondering one thing. 
You being who you are, what you are, wouldn't you have the power to know what I'm thinking? I do not cheat, Max. You're gonna have to continue to trust me. It's either that or we can end the game no. now or we can... No, that's fine. I'll play. Good. Now, was the sacrifice deliberate or not? <laughs> There's no escaping you, Max. You know that, right? I can beat you. I beat you before, and I'll beat you again. Oh, sure, you've won a few games, yes, but you won't escape me in the end. Even if you defeat me in every game known to man, how will you delay me when there are no games left to play? Oh, think of something! Yeah? Well, what if I were just to stop you and you, huh? Then, I'd call you a coward. Afraid of a mortal woman? <laughs> afraid. Me, afraid. <laughs> oh, Max. How long has it been since we first met? To your mortal eyes, it must have been ages ago. I was just a kid. Yes. Yes, I remember now. You were about 10 years old. That fever you had was supposed to have spelled your doom. Your parents had just left on vacation, left you with the babysitter, that teenager, and well, she didn't take your illness very seriously now, did she? I remember when I appeared to you. I came to your bedside and I reached out my hand. And you remember what happened? You fiercely, defiantly slapped my hand away and said, no, I still have much left to go. And he said it didn't matter. Because my time was up. Yes. Yes, I did say that, didn't I? But I also said, that if I gave you more time, you would suffer greatly. That all you had to do was take my hand, you would be spared from that suffering and be happy and... Happy where? And you challenged me to that game of go fish and defeated me suddenly. Happy where? Heaven? Say it. Tell me, I don't remember what you said. Is there another life? Beyond this one? Ah. You remember that game of billiards? Oh, that was exhilarating. You remember that one? Yes, yes. It's all coming back to me now. That was right before you listed in the United States Marine Corps. Then there was that ping pong game in Iraq, in four operating base. You remember that? Yes, I remember now. I came for. That strapping young infantryman, what was his name? Corporal John Miller, I think it was. Yes, for once, you were playing for someone else's life. And still, you won. So, I had to take your other friend. What was his name? Lieutenant Pitt. Yes, Lieutenant Pitt. He faced me without any fear. No fear at all. I reached out my hand and he took it without any regrets as he lay there in your wrecked helicopter, choking on his own blood. Mm. If it's any consolation though, I took the Iraqi surgeon who fired the rocket not too long after. One of your scout snipers got him. The round pierced his solar plexus and, and his uh, spinal cord too. And well, his death uh, was very agonizing to say the least. That consoles you as well. Did he have any regrets? No. No. He was utterly faithful. Utterly convinced that he was doing the right thing. Screw him. <laughs> ah, Max. I commend you for enlisting. I really do. Especially knowing how close I was on your trail. 
I just wanted to do my part. And so you did. You served your country and your family well. You've lived a great life, Max. There was, there was suffering. And there were moments of utter bliss. But it was because of that suffering that those moments were thusly blissful. Max, to truly know happiness, you must be close to me as you have. To look me in the eye, you should never take for granted the fleeting gifts that life offers. Hi, Max. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Wait. I won. Take my hand. No. No. She won't take it willingly. No. Never. Why would I? Max. Max, look at me. I will make sure you feel no pain. You know, I have never lied and never will. If you just take my hand. Let's play another game. No more games. No more games, Max. Your time is up. Again. You see, all those years ago when you defiantly slapped my hand away, I flipped your hourglass over. You have any idea what this is? <laughs> this isn't a timer for our games. This is a timer for you. Look, you're almost out of time, Max. Look at this. Are you saying that all those times I was destined to win? Not necessarily. Just destined not to die until all the sand in that hourglass fell to the bottom again. All those games we played, they were for nothing. No. No. No, they went for nothing. Max, listen. Listen to me. It wasn't all for nothing. It wasn't all for nothing. We had some wonderful conversations, didn't we? And weren't those contests just so terribly exciting? Max, you fascinated me. What if you would have won? If I would have won? Well, I... I suppose I would have revealed the hourglass to you earlier. Oh. Max, you fascinated me. You impressed me. No one, no one in this entire universe has ever resisted me with the same zeal. You continue to impress me. <laughs> then flip the hourglass one more time. Flip it one more time. I can't. I can't. Just one more time. I can't. One more flip, it couldn't hurt. I can't, I can't, I can't! I can't do that. If I flip this hourglass one more time, it could have cosmic consequences. Don't you understand? 
I can only bend the strands of destiny. That's all I can do. But if I flip this hourglass over one more time, I could snap them. And this world, as we know it, would come to an end and I'd have to answer to Who? To who? Who? You know who? Yes, you know, don't you? No, Max. No. I care for you. For that reason, I'm giving you one final choice. I never had a choice. Not really. Max, but you did. Don't you see? You've done it. You've succeeded. You've prolonged your life. Whatever. What's this final choice? Go out there into the very apocalypse and die a slow, agonizing death. Or just take my hand, Max. Take my hand and surrender your soul peacefully. Take my hand. Henry Bemis said it best. And the best thing, the very best thing of all, is there's time now. There's all the time I need and all the time I want. Time, time, time. There's time enough at last. And then we know what happened. So before you go selling your soul, be careful what you wish for. Until next time, my victims. <laughs>